crispy. Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Marvel Legends Infinite series from the X-Men series, Marvel Now, Storm. Um, I'm kind of breaking my tradition here of only doing figures that are only usually boxed. Usually I only do figures that are boxed, but before I reviewed, for some reason, I just started opening up the box, and I was like, oh, crap, I haven't shown it in the box yet. Anyways, so here she is. You just don't get to see the box. I guess I could still show you the box. One second. This is what the box looks like. For some reason, I just like showing it. It came out in 2014, I believe, with these figures, Build-A-Figure, Jubilee. So that's what that looks like, just in case you were wondering, because there's lots of different versions to Storm, so that's why I like to do my reviews of box, so everyone knows exactly what I'm reviewing and where it came from. But regardless, I would also like to put on this, but she won't stand worth a crap. And I'm going to get into that right now, is that in 2014, Hasbro loved these gummy joints, where they made the joints of these figures out of the worst possible material ever. Like, what the f... <clears throat> what is this? They did that a lot in 2014. They do it a little bit now in 2015. But, oh my gosh, look at that. This, I'm barely... Gummy joints, it's disgusting. The other another series that had a real problem with gummy joints was the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy series. Holy crap! So I can't get her to stand, and mostly look look her own weight, and she's a small figure. That's gonna be my biggest complaint, though. Everything else in this figure actually came out really well. I want to first focus on her hair. I mean, that is really, really freaking cool. You got a little bit of gray, silver, and white in there. I'm surprised Hasbro took this much time to mold the hair like this. This looks really freaking amazing. Face sculpt also looks really good. She has no pupils because she's Storm. You know, and Storm's usually doing, like, her powers and her pupils go all white and everything. So those look pretty cool. I like the way the face came out. We look at her body. We see a little bit of paint mishap there on her left breasticle. And uh, those black... Stripes are supposed to be there, they're on both sides, but right there it's a little bit funky looking. Um, her skirt or whatever, her dress is starting to rip. And on the back here, we see they actually used real fabric. Let me zoom out. And I actually like the way this came out. It's kind of a uh, nylon feeling, less of a fabric. I, I mean, I guess nylon is a fabric, but it compared to, like, say, Lord Vader's cape in the Black Series, it doesn't really feel like that. It's been crimped a little bit because of the way it was packaged. It's been sitting there for a year and I guess eventually just wore down on it. Uh, I'm not sure if that'll come out or not. It's not coming out of mine. Uh, but that came out really well. I like the gold lining on that and everything. We've got two little rings here to attach to, which I don't really see why anyone would undo these rings because you can't get it out from under here. So I wouldn't even mess with trying to get these rings off her wrists and everything. And because it's just it's attached back here. So unless you want to totally unattach everything. So I would just say leave the cape alone if you're thinking about removing it. Because I don't think it'll work out in your favor. We see two different shades of white here. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm not sure why this white came out different than this. They're both glossy. But if you put them right next to each other, you can definitely see those are different shades of white. Not a lot of black showing through the X here, so that's pretty good. Usually have problems with that. We get some more white trim down here. Let's see how it compares to the rest of the white. Pretty much the same color. And we get those gummy joints. Everything else looks pretty good. She's kind of on a high heels. Or more like, they look more like wedges than high heels. Those gotta be so uncomfortable to walk in. Her head will go down really, really far. It's on a giant ball joint here. She gets really good range of motion looking down. But going back, of course, it's going to be hindered by her hair. It seems like it can... You see this? That's kind of a different thing going on there. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure if it's supposed to do that or if I'm unknowingly breaking it right now. She can kind of do the 360, but of course her cape will kind of start getting tangled there a little bit. Single jointed elbow. Tough time moving. We got a wrist hinge at the base of the wrist and a swivel. She's got an upper diaphragm joint that she can move around a little bit on. Not a lot of great range, nah, not a good range of motion out of that. 
but some pretty basic stuff that all female characters are getting. No waist swivel, her legs will go up that high. Upper thigh swivel, and they'll go back only that much. Double jointed knee, or double jointed gummy joint. And then we get a wrist swivel on the ball joint, so we get the good rocking motion out of those. Overall, we got a pretty decent figure here. We get a lot of good stuff, but these really, these gummy knee joints, they really kill it for me because I can't even get her to stand because of those things. But I guess if you're going to do photography, then you're going to have her flying for most of her poses, so I guess the knee joints won't hinder them that much. But this is a really cool design. It goes for about 40 bucks open on eBay, so she's pretty out there. She was kind of hard to find because Hasbro did a pretty crappy job of uh, supplying Toys R Us's with these and this is in fact a Toys R Us exclusive at least that's what it says in the box and they came out in 2014 so you're gonna have to go to eBay or second hand to find these because um, you're not gonna find them in Toys R Us anymore of course but articulation everything was fine the mold came out pretty good paint came out really good and her hair sculpt is freaking incredible so if you can find this I definitely recommend this this is definitely one of the better storm figures out there other than that, guys, I appreciate you watching. I did a couple more of these figures from this series, so try to check those out if you got time. I'd really appreciate it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Other than that, have a good day, and peace out.